Good Sunday morning, crafty friends. Sparkle here. Say, I just have a um, quick little uh, Timu haul video. So, um, yeah, I didn't think I was going to um, go there, but I did. So, um, here's what I got, and um, I'll give you the prices and stuff. These are um, six by six by three. I think I wanted them a little bit bigger. But you get two in a package for a dollar twenty-nine. So I got two sets. So be careful with the measurements, okay? So I want to get um, maybe a little bit bigger on my next order. And then these I really like. These are flower garden, uh, and they're like good for fairy journals. And when I saw these, I thought of uh, Cara Renee. And there's 15 pieces in here for $1.49. And they're really pretty. And they look, um, you know, decent quality. There's, um, I guess, three each of five different patterns. But they're, um, you know, they're nicely made. And they would look cute on a page where there's a cluster. I like this one. You know, I don't have any die cuts, but I like this one a lot. And you could layer up and do something like that. So, yeah, I like that. There's 15 of these for $1.49. So, yeah, just um, watch your, um, you know, read read your labels and stuff when you're purchasing. Um, I don't know where the little... Yeah, Flower Garden Series. So there was um, different patterns. And then um, there's a yard of these flowers. And they're, um, you know, one inch, one inch in diameter. Uh, next time I think I want to do is um, get white. I like to get white and then color them with my Copic. So you get a yard and... Um, they're quite pretty. I cut this one out just to show you the size. So, you know, I like this kind of flower. And they, they cut easy. There's just two cut marks. But, yeah, I would get um, white. Okay, then um, these I got from Amazon, and they're gourd clips. But it was a small pack with ten different colors. Now, I have a lot of the... Um, what are they called? Um, the bronze. I've got tons of them, but I sometimes I like the colors. This was probably about I don't know seven eight dollars. I'd have to look it up. I got these, oh, you know, a year ago or so. So um, I saw on there um, these. I got some gold ones, and these are a hundred pins for eighty eight cents. You can't go wrong. They had different colors. Now, I ordered white gourd pins, but these are actually silver, which is fine. And these were a little more. These were $1.48. I don't know the difference. Um, it says they're white, but to me they look silver. And that's okay. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, so this little package probably cost me, I don't know, 6 or $7. Maybe. I'll have to go look. And these were, these two here were um, less than $3. Okay. And then the other thing that I got that I like is paper clips. So I'm into paper clips. So these um, are just bronze. These are um, like a gold, rose gold. And they have uh, hearts in them because I like hearts. These have hearts in them too. And these are just 25 millimeter. So there's 15 of these for $1.28. There's 20 of each of these. Looks more than 20. Um, yeah, it looks more than 20. But, okay, and these were 58 cents. So here's the sizes. This is the little one with the heart. And the rose gold with the heart. These are the same ones. And these were the 58 cent ones. 
for 20. Then this big one is here, the 25 millimeter or a half inch. And, and there's these were um, 15 for $1.28. Here's a sample of the Tim Holtz one. Oops, I probably should have said his name. The TH one that we all use. That's this size here. So, yeah. So for 58 cents, you can get 20. So even if you got 100, um, be 270 or something, less than $3 for 100. Good deal. And then, uh, you know, I have my teardrop ones, and there's 200 of these, and I got these from Amazon. So I just wanted to show you that um, I did place another order yesterday, and um, and I'm just you know using it for scrapbook odds and ends. I'm not going to order um, clothes or anything like that. But that's Timu, and I know you've all heard of it and all seen it out there. So that's my two cents. And like I said, just watch measurements. So you know these are four by six. But, you know, you maybe want a little bit bigger if they have them. And these, I think, were under stationery. The rest of this was under arts and crafts. So I hope you find that helpful. And then I'm just going to show you quickly the journal I'm working on now. This is my um, little junk journal. So I put a backing on it. I put some... Pardon me. Some um, coffee dyed seam binding. And for the cover, I um, added some layers. This is some of that trim from Dollar Tree. And it's the blue and then a uh, just a painted splashy sheet here and an image from uh, Lena. Junk Journal by Lena. And then I just put a little, um, what do you call this? Metal clippy thing here. Let's get you a filigree. There. And then um, I have some. So I still need to add my embellishments, which I have organized now. Here's my little journal signature and I've got a little key and a ball down here and then that all folds in this folds over and then this ties I have this um, underneath the back here okay so what I did was um, I started getting um, things together. I made one of these um, origami envelopes that we all see. And that's going to go in my journal. And I'll just put um, something from the kit on here to, to close it. I might even use some of my flowers. Who knows? But... Um, yeah, I started making, here's a little notebook that's going to go in there. So I have that. And then I just cut out the elements that were in there. So there's um, a lot of these um, for pockets or tags. Um, there's some really cute tags, big tags. So I'm going to put something in there. There's a couple big eggs. Really cute. Then I have these smaller too. I just have to cut them out. So, yeah. So this is what I'm going to embellish the inside with. Um, and then I will show you the final walkthrough. Okay? So I hope you just enjoyed that little snippet there, and um, I hope you all have a beautiful day. 
Um, God bless and see you soon. Bye now.